Blessings, my brethren. I trust that you're having a wonderful day thus far and that the blessings of God are with you and you are enriched from his word. Our great Savior, Jesus, I do now receive him. Is that what you are saying? More than all in him I find. Since you received him, have you found him to be complete? He had granted me forgiveness. I am his and he is mine. Hallelujah. What a savior. Hallelujah. What a friend. Saving, helping, keeping, loving. He is with me to the end. We are looking at Philippians chapter 4. And we are learning from this passage of scripture how to master every situation. And coming through Philippians chapter 4, I told you that we had three questions that I would answer. In verse number 13, he said, I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. So the first question was, who can do all things? Of course, you know, these all things that we speak about, they can only be done through Christ. In my strength and your strength, with my natural ability, your natural ability, we cannot do all things. Absolutely cannot. But we can do all things through Christ, which strengthened us. The man who said this went through so much in life. And the believer who was not dedicated would have found himself or herself in trouble living this life if the things that happened to this man had happened to such a believer. So if he can do it, then I can do it. And then you can do it. So I can tell yourself, I can. I can what? I can do all things through Christ, which strengthened me. We looked at the measure of this. The measure is all things. Every situation, no situation can be too big, too trying, too tempting, too dangerous, too disturbing too troublesome, too wearing, too long, too hard, too discouraging. Regardless of the situation through Christ, we may master them all. We shared some of the things that he shared with the Philippians, what they need to do to master them all. He said, change your attitude. Find yourself rejoicing in the Lord always. Stop complaining. Rejoice in the Lord always. He said to them, let your moderation be known unto all men. Let your attitude be that of gentleness and meekness. Be winsome. He said to them, be careful for nothing. Don't be too anxious about everything. Don't just worry yourself until you get sick. Don't worry. He said, be praying about everything. Instead of worrying, be praying about everything. He said, your thinking needs to change. Think on things that are just holy, pure, all those wonderful things. And then in the last devotion, I said, learn to be content. And sickness are in health, and poverty are in wealth. And failure and success, be content. Be content to fill that little space if God is glorified. Be content to do that unnoticed job if he is glorified. Content to serve where he places you. Content to follow where he leads. Content with little until much comes. And then for today, verse 22 said something that I want to share with you. In verse 22, he said, All the saints salute you, chiefly they that are of Caesar's household. Saints in Caesar's household. Sometimes you find Christians in unlikely places. Christians in difficult places. Christians in difficult circumstances. Wherever you are for God, be victorious. Now, how would you find Christians in Caesar's household? Paul had a chance to be in prison and had a lot to say to Caesar. And he heard a lot about Jesus Christ from this man, the Apostle Paul. So you may find yourself in a strange place. A, don't think that God don't know you are there. If you are in the will of God, always tell yourself, God, you brought me here. You know why you brought me here. And every day of my life, I will endeavor to do my best for you because you brought me here. And then the third and last question would be, how was he able to master this? He said, I can do all the things. 
How was he able to do all things? To be master of every situation. How can I say it and mean it? How can you say I can do all things and mean it? The answer is in the words through Christ, which strengtheneth me. This simply means I cannot live this victorious life apart from Christ. I just cannot. If I am going to live this victorious life, it got to be Christ living in and through me. The life of victory is impossible to achieve apart from Christ. Christ himself said in John 15, 5, I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abided in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. The truth of the matter is, it is not my life, but his life living in and through me. So I cannot live this victorious life apart from Christ. Because he lived this life, he's able and willing to produce this life in anybody that is yielded to him. Because who lived this life? Christ himself. This is Christ living in me and producing through me. It's not me with any natural ability. It is Christ living in me. It is Christ living in you. The truth of the matter is, when we think of who we are in our own, these things we cannot do. We need extra help. And help is there at our disposal. He said, allow me to live my life through you. To be able to master every situation, he must become your master. If he is not your master, regardless to how you try, you would master some situations, it will be a hit and miss. You see, he must become your master. Then you can master every situation in life through him who leads you and walk through you to master the situations. But let me say this. Sometimes we pray and ask God to lead us. It is not so much so that God doesn't want to lead us. What it is, is that many times we are not willing to be led by God. So if we allow God to lead us, we will always find ourselves in the place or places where God wants us to be. So is he leading you? Or are you led by the flesh? Are you living your own life? Are you doing things that you want to do? Or are you doing what he wants to do? But this all starts by recognizing you cannot master or do all things in your strength. I cannot master every situation in my strength, but every situation can be mastered. I can do all things through Christ, which strengthened me. Those words are true. Paul had all the challenges you could think of, but he came true successful in every one of them because he did it for Christ. He said, I am crucified with Christ. In other words, my life, the things I want to do. Listen, I allow that life to be dead. He said, nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Jesus would love to have a chance to live his life through you. If you do not know him as your savior, today, if you'll confess him with your mouth and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, if you would repent, if you would voluntarily, sincerely change your mind and say, I'm going the wrong way. Jesus, I'm accepting you. I'm giving it all to you. You have your way in my life. He will save you today. And I can guarantee you, you will not be the same person because if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away and behold, all things are become new. Let him be your savior. Let him be your Lord. Accept him before it's eternally too late. And you will find that when he lives his life through you, you will find your life changing, mastering the situations that used to master you before you gave him your life. 
Lord, all of us have made some terrible mistakes. We have said things and done things that we should not have said or done. But Lord, we are so thankful that our lives, those of us who know you as Savior, are not the same as they used to be now that you have come in. And for those, Lord, who have accepted you as Savior and haven't allowed you to be master or Lord of their lives, may they stop today and see, without you, they will not be able to master every situation. Be with us all now. We love you and praise you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Folks, thank you so much for listening and thank you so much for sharing. You will never know what happened from listening to these devotions which are based on words from the Word. Thank you. It's about you. It's not about us. First of all, it's about Him. And then it's about you. Thank you so much. We love you. Have a great day. Thanks for listening and sharing.